I mean, if we want to write the code or execute it, uh, it is a platform to for us. What is the advantage of an ID? I could have installed Java in my machine and I could have right. written like elsewhere. Like, you know, Java codes or any language code can be executed from Notepad or Notepad++ also. What is the advantage of an ID? Everything we can do it in that platform. We can execute, we can compile, we can like we can write. Libraries which are available in ID. Okay. Yeah, everyone is correct actually, but I mean, it, it mostly would, uh, give us automatic automated uh, recommendations while we are typing. True. So what happens? ID means integrated development environment. So as the name suggests, basically whatever you want to do all together. One second, guys. I'm actually trying to install the Eclipse. So. Yeah, so whenever we try to like for that or as the name says whenever we want to run a particular code what I have to do I have to write the code I have to compile or interpret it then I have to get the results out right as I said if you are if you have Java in your machine then you can write your code in the notepad or notepad plus plus save that particular file as dot Java extension and then uh, you can still execute it. Okay, there are ways to execute it. But what is an advantage of ID? So whatever you guys said, everything is correct. Just you have to merge everything together. First of all, ID is giving you a one platform where you can write, compile and execute everything. You will see the results then and there only. You don't have to change the platform like you don't have to change from notepad to command prompt. It is a single screen. Second, it is giving automated suggestions like it will help you to write the code. It will make your life easier. And the library is available with the ID. Now, if I'm writing a code with the Java and later I want to add a library with external library with Java so that it will help me with my automation. It's very hard to do from Notepad++ then execute it from command prompt again. It's very hard because uh, at one time it will be referring to one particular library or one particular tool. It might be Java, then it might miss out on other libraries. So we have the IDs so that it will help us to understand or uh, use multiple libraries all together at a single time. So in my project, I can add multiple libraries at the same time and I can work on it. So ID doesn't give you any limitation that you can't use this library and all. So these all are our advantages. Now there are multiple IDs available in the market. OK, why Eclipse? Eclipse is open source. Just like we chose Java, one of the reasons Eclipse is open source. So people with the starters or like when we are you are slowly starting Java to learn Java Eclipse is all good. OK, but Eclipse also like others like there are others also like uh, IntelliJ, then Visual Code, then PyCharm. There are multiple. OK, some ideas might be specific to some particular language. Some ideas are not specific. It might go through any language. OK, so but all the ideas have some limitations like Eclipse. Eclipse has a very huge build time. So if you have multiple projects, it will take a huge time to build your projects later on. Like when you are working on five or six frameworks all together, every time you open Eclipse, it will sit idle for 10 minutes just to load up all the frameworks again. Because it's open source, obviously it will have some limitations and there are some others. That's why the paid tools are coming into the market like IntelliJ, PyCharm. So there are multiple ideas. You can use any you want. OK, no restrictions, nothing like that. You don't have to worry. So now we have to understand. OK, so whenever we are talking about ID, how basically Java syntaxes works. OK, so I'll try to open one second. My ID, I'll share my screen. Let me know once my screen is visible. Yeah. I started both my ideas together. Let's see. Second guys.
Okay, this is IntelliJ. Okay, so whatever the screen you are seeing right now, that this is an IntelliJ, and uh, so IntelliJ is one of the another ID, and this is also free. This is the community edition, so this is the free one. IntelliJ has its own paid version also, that will professional ones, but uh, this is the community edition, so this is free also. I prefer IntelliJ because of some advantages over Eclipse, but uh, community edition also gives you the those advantages, so it works like. If you want, you can go ahead with IntelliJ also, but let's go ahead with. Eclipse, so this is the Eclipse screen right now, so if you want to start Java, you have to create a project. OK, say any language or any uh, thing you want to do, you have to create a project first. So let's create a project file new. Where is Java? Got it. It changed a lot. So if you go to the new, you will have the option of project, right? So once you click it, there is an option of Java project. Just go to the next. And you have to give a name. So demo sessions. I gave a name to the project. OK, and finish. Yeah, so it's a Java project. That's why you can see a folder structure with a J there. OK. I don't know if you can see it. I can't zoom it also. So it's that J there and you will have this. So this is the GID system library. I told you right GID consists of libraries or the reference libraries which will help you to write the code. So you can see the GID here. <coughs> the full GID is here and then you have the SRC. Just ignore this is just a folder pattern. OK, you don't have to worry about it and you can see there is already a class. With dot Java. So whatever the dot Java extension files would be there. Those are called classes. OK, you can think that's your field where you have to work on. OK, so first I created a project. There would be some folder structures always there. OK, by default folder structures they would be giving you and there would be dot Java classes. So what is a class? Basically, you can think of it like a field where you have to run. I told you right if you are sprinter, you have to run somewhere. So dot Java would be the extension for those classes. So what I would recommend you. So one second. The structure I'll show you. So whenever you are creating a project, first create a project. OK, project based on Java. Then based on this, there would be packages. We have to create some packages. This is a good habit. What I'm saying like this would be the ideal start. So you have to create some packages. What is package? Uh, I can give you an just overview package would be like. If someone asks you where do you live, you will what you will say you will directly say your home number. That's not possible, right? Because your house number may not be known to others. So you have to identify your locality or maybe your state, maybe with your area. Like I live in Tirupati, I live in uh, Tirumala, I live in uh, maybe Guntur. So you have to go to the particular pointers or the localities which are well known to others, right? So it's just like a package. Package means an area you can think of. It's an area. So if it's an area, area will hold n number of houses, right? So there will be multiple houses inside it. So these houses are classes. OK, so one package may hold n number of classes like one area holds n number of houses inside it, right? So one package will hold n number of classes and inside these classes we will be doing our work. OK, so classes are the field or the house like you sleep, you eat, you uh, seeing you dance everything you do in your house. You don't go to your other houses and do all this. So that would be your particular class or your house and the classes are like a bunch of classes or multiple classes together creates some package which is an area. So ideal habit always try to maintain this whenever you create a demo project. OK, so maybe on the folder structure only you can right click. If you right click there would be an option to new and there would be package you can see right. So Packages names are always all in small letters. OK, always in small letters. So I can give like. Demo dot sessions. Why I have why I have given a dot. Uh, OK, let's leave this. I'll come to this dot later. OK, just you can go ahead with this because it will be too critical or else. <clears throat> so I have given a package name which is demo dot sessions. So you can see there is a package created. This is a package sign. It's white right now because it's blank. No houses are inside it. 
this area is just newly created no one has yet to yet came there to live now if i in the package if i click on the right click and then i have the option of class right now the classes first alphabet should be always capital this is mandatory for java syntax these are the called syntaxes syntaxes means some particular rules which you need to maintain to write your code in java okay so if i give small letter what will happen code one see it's giving the type name is discouraged by conversion java type names usually start with an uppercase letter but if i make it c because it's asking this the error is or the warning is gone okay so i'm giving demo code one now if you give this one <clears throat> and finish you will see the package is now yellow because it has got some houses inside it and there is a particular room okay i'm deleting this okay or else it will be confusing so inside a package there is a class now where i'll be playing ahead you can see this is a class correct so what i said remember few things whatever i said till now to summarize it whenever you want to do something with java you have to create a project project means like its specification i may have 100 projects right because i'm doing ui automation i'm doing api automation i'm doing uh, uh like ETL, I am doing security testing. So I may have a number of projects possible in the same Eclipse. I'll not be changing the places, correct? So I'll have a number of projects. Now these projects will define wh what I'm working on and how, what type of things I'm working on. Now here I will have the packages. Why packages are important as I said, because uh, you have you are doing your work you are sending your particular work to someone. Okay, maybe you are giving this project to your friend and you may say, okay, go to this class and check this. Your friend may ask, right, where is your this class? Like if I ask you, where is your, what is your, uh, where is your address? And if you tell me that my house number is NA39, will I be ever able to understand what is NA39? No, right? I'll ask in which locality you tell me, I'll go there, then the house comes in the next important. So just like that, the packages are called areas like or uh, not called areas just it's a uh, i'm giving you a concept that's it so packages you can think of an areas and as an area can hold n number of houses so packages will hold the classes and as i said classes would be the playground for you whatever you do activity day-to-day -day activity every activity you will be putting everything inside a classes which would be called upon as a house okay so as i said like you sleep you uh, you dance you eat you do everything inside your house so everything will we will be doing inside the classes only okay any doubts till now package class sorry uh you guys are not audible to me like house can be considered as a package and classes can be considered as a activity right under come again your voice was choppy like house can be considered as like package is considered as a can be considered as a uh, like house right Sorry, house can be considered as a package and uh, uh, individual activities can be considered as a class, right? No, bro. Uh, others, are you guys not able to understand what I said? Or is the same group for... Group of houses can be called as a package. I mean, group of classes. It's, it? it's very simple. I don't know why it's... Uh, so, so, just see. Maybe I live in Bangalore, okay? So, if I am from Bangalore, if someone asks me where do you live so i'll say kuramangala bangalore okay if i directly give him an uh, particular house number that's uh, ch270 sorry ch270 and i tell you okay come to ch270 will you ever be able to identify from the bangalore airport where do you have to go not possible right so that's why we have particular areas named correct yes. areas so these areas are called packages. Now, package, so when you say that uh, a package has arrived for you, what happens? Inside a package, there will be multiple things, right? It might contain some chocolates, it might contain some uh, sweets, it might contain some dry fruits, right? So just like that, packages are called areas. 
now in real life what happened areas will have house one house two house three <coughs> and these houses i'm saying these are the classes which are inside these packages and we do things inside the classes because see basically if it's my home i'll be doing everything here if it's uh, saujana's home saujana will be doing everything here so just like that packages are the holders classes are the one where we are going to do everything areas and houses i'll come to this later in depth in very depth when we will be going through the object oriented programming oops but right now you have to remember the syntax think of it as a syntax that was whenever someone ask me to do anything in the java i have to first create a project in the project i have to create a package inside the package i have to create a class this is the syntax right now so package would be all small all lower cases okay all lower cases in the name classes would be Starts upper case that, start no? yes upper case starts starts with upper case that's it till now we have gone through this is the syntax anyone says you that sorry come again is one is one project uh, have only one package or uh, n number of packages n number of packages like it's a uh, city you can think bangalore bangalore will have n number of areas right whitefield marathali korumangala hsr btm electronic city okay. just like that so okay. this is a one package the same ways i can i can go to the project again or maybe the folder structure i can go because from there again i can create another package again demo dot practicals i created another package see another package brother packages got created so this would be the standard hierarchy yes this is the standard hierarchy i'm giving till now this is the standard hierarchy that there would be projects there would be packages and there would be classes even i can show you from the practically how it's happening see this is a project you can see right this is a project bizom automation so this is a folder structure and inside the folder structure you can see there is a package right yes yes and they and these are the classes you can see the c sign these are the classes inside one package there would be multiple classes okay it's okay. simple as that so you will have a project you will have the packages you will have the classes and classes are the place where we are going to do everything from our side any doubts till now it's okay like you have to be clear we are not in a hurry we can take like two days even to understand this i'm still fine but you, you have to be very 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 clear any doubts on this No. No, no, sir. No, sir. Only few people are saying. Others, any doubts? No. 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 It's clear. No, sir. Cool. So now we have got our classes, right? As I said, classes would be the one where we would be doing everything. Okay. Now, so okay, I'm going a little bit in depth, little bit. but just to make you remember now what happened we have an area correct this area is kodamangala now kodamangala has n number of houses we have got one house correct this is a house maybe house 4 h4 now every house have what very basic question houses have what house numbers or rooms 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 it will have n number of rooms it may contain correct yes yes uh, bigger the house bigger the num bigger the room uh, sorry uh, number of rooms will get increase may increase and smaller the house number of rooms also would be little bit less so these rooms are called in our programming language methods clear now what happened so if someone is going to your house first you are going to say i live in kodamangala he reached he or she reached kodamangala then he is going to he or she is going to call you he is going to say which house so you will say the house number 4 he or she will come in front of your house you are still busy in your 
or maybe study room so you will say come, enter from the uh, enter through the door and come to the study room so he will particularly come to the study room and get your data so that's how even programming languages works you have to when you want to execute your code you have to make the compiler understand boss you have to go to that particular room and whatever is inside that room execute that got it why i am giving this much of direction because you may have a n number of rooms in the house but you want to execute a particular room in you want to execute only that particular method you don't want to execute others this is also a possibility right so to reach or to make the compiler reach make the compiler understand that i want to execute only that one you have to be very clear that's why this hierarchy is maintained that package class methods okay so how methods are written so i can just you don't have to always you have to give write this okay public static void why i'm writing this uh, words public static void will come to this later very later just just you have to know that yeah blindly i have to write public static void okay slowly we'll know everything so don't worry about this public static void main string array of orgs so this is a room i have created and have given a name of main okay it's actually not that i have given it's a default room always any class will have if i hadn't written this how could i have written this i could have just given main control space why it's not coming one second control set main so then it doesn't it ah here yeah, it came you can see main method it's automatically coming the same thing what i have written right control space is the one so i selected this enter it automatically got created so main is a how can you think of it you have n number of rooms in your house which room would be the most important you guys think in your house living room living room yeah mm -hmm. which would be the which would be the master bedroom right master bedroom so this particular main would be the master bedroom and for java execution starts from master bedroom or the main method so whenever you say that i want to execute something you have to execute it through main method you have all other rooms okay but java will always execute from the main method only like if i show you i'm just writing i'll come to this later okay i'm creating another room okay this is another room i'm creating m1 see i have two rooms one is main which is master room master bedroom and i have another room which might be my uh, study room so if i want to execute this or if i want to run this this is the run button okay and okay see it's only printing once and it's printing from the this one master bedroom java execution starts from the main method so if you want to execute any other room you have to have to get an away we'll come to this later but that's why i'm saying till you have a better understanding of what is a method how to write a method why you are writing the public static void how object works how the classes works anything you are going to do would be limited to this main method okay anything you do so first as i said what you have to do you have to create a package so what we have learned so let's summarize this again we have learned that i have to create a java project java project inside that i have to create a package which will be considered as my area correct inside the package i will have classes classes would be my houses inside the class i will have a main method which main method would be working as my master bedroom and whatever i write inside the main method is gonna give me a result this is the default syntax of java and anything you want to do would be following this order only okay 
till you are getting an understanding how object works and how classes works, how packages works, why I'm saying all these are areas, all these are rooms. I'll come back to this area house room concept again when we'll be discussing the oops. But till now, till then, actually, this is the only thing you have to consider or you have to do anything. I ask you to some two plus two. You have to create a package. You have to create a class. You have to create a main method inside that particular class and you'll be following the same order. No interchange. Clear. I just gave you an idea that methods are called. You can think of it as a room because like all the activities will happen to the particular rooms and like as I said, class is the house, right? You 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 eat, you sleep, you dance, you study everything you will do inside the class. But we humans to sleep, we have a room to study. We have a room to uh, dance. We have a room to like to do every other activity to cook. We have kitchen. So just like that for every activity also will have the different methods or different rooms, but master bedroom is very important and as important as it is in our daily life. So Java's execution happens in master bedroom only. If you ask the compiler go boss and execute this particular class, he will go to the only master bedroom. Whatever he sees inside the master bedroom, he is going to do that much only. No other rooms he's going to visit even. So that's why until unless we get a better understanding how it works, how it should have happened. We are going to work with main method only. Clear. Yes. Yes, it's clear. Yes, so, sir. Any, okay. so anyone so you to do anything uh, uh, right now, you have to just create a project. You have to create a package. You may create multiple packages. I'm not restricting you. You have to create a class. You may create multiple classes in a single project and you have to just make sure that everything you are doing should be inside the main method. So I will show you again how to do the main method. So and one class will have like one house has only one master bedroom, right? Not a number of Amitabh, master bedrooms. Amitabh. Uh, yes, Amitabh, sorry to disturb you, Amitabh. Uh, uh, will you do uh, from starting from the creation of the project to the main method once again? Uh, uh, we will. Uh, I mean, uh, we will listen again. Uh, no, we are ha having a confusion on this. Uh, will you do uh, starting from the creation of the project to the main method once again, please? Yeah. See. So I'm going to the file. I'm going to the new. OK, because I created the last project of Java. That's why automatically I'm getting this Java project option. If you are not getting go to the project. OK, and you will have the option of Java project. Got it. Then next and you have to give a name, right? So it's I'm giving the same name again. Demo sessions and just finish it. You don't have to even look at other fields. So I created a project. OK, how I know this is a Java project because I have a J here. J means Java project. Now you will have always don't delete ever the GRE. Okay, GRE is always would be there because GRE is the library which is helping you to write the code. Now this is a by default created. Okay, it already came from the cache. One second. So I create a project. Now you can see. So inside a package, uh, inside the parent folder, I want to create a package, right? So new, and I go to the package. So com dot demo. I created a package. Let's delete this package. Com.demo. I can create another package. New package. Com.sessions. I can create another package. There might be multiple packages. So com.automation. So I created three packages. Now these packages may hold the classes. So new. Right. Like just I did the right click. New and class. So I have to give a name to the class. Okay, so what? Uh, demo or syntax. Let's go ahead with syntax syntax while creating the class. I am giving the capital letter first alphabet is capital. Okay, remember this. If you don't give this, you will have an warning anyhow. So don't ignore that capital letter. And if you don't want to create the main method later, there is a box you can see right public static void main. It will auto generate a main method for you. Just finish it. Your class would be generated with the main method. You can see, right? A main method is already given. I can create another class here. So new class. Uh, 
hello world hello world and i'm not checking this box okay this time so there would be class created without any method inside so there is no main method that is the help you will get from this uh, that particular checkbox that it will automatically create a main method for you that's it if you don't get it how what you have to do in eclipse at least you have to type the main control space you will see this main method option just enter you will get the main method okay that's it you have to create packages you have to create classes you have to create the main method inside it got it yes any doubt yes, yes. Got, it. got it sir got it sir no, this is important and uh, the concept of area house and rooms remember that okay because that is gonna help you everything to do the oops later when you will come to the oops oops is a little bit far like it will take two weeks or two and a half weeks to go there but it's important <coughs> clear till here right So now yeah. yes. we, ha we have got the main method and as I said, we, whenever you are trying to run, you have just have to click this green button. You can see run, right? So if you click this button, it's just asking save and launch because I haven't saved this star mark you are seeing here, right? Star mark means it's not saved. So if I save this control S, see the star mark is gone. That means it has got saved. And then if you run this, it will not give you the dialog box even. Okay. And because nothing inside the main method, it will it hasn't it it doesn't have any output basically. Okay. Now <clears throat> we'll run only one thing today. So we have learned how Java structure works, the syntax of the structure or the like ideal structure for any Java project. That would be a project, a package, a class, and methods. Okay. Now to get any result printed into the console this is called console right where do we get the out this output this where i'm uh, my cursor is beeping this is my this is the console where we'll get the outputs to print anything into the console the java command is system dot out dot sorry print ln this is the command Okay, and after every line of Java, this is mandatory. Every line of code of Java, the, you have to give a semicolon. Anything you write in Java code, <clears throat> you have to give a semicolon. Semicolon denotes that the line has ended. If you don't give a semicolon, it will consider whatever you write here, but the below everything together as a single line. Okay, so after giving semicolon, I can write here again. No issues because it's a line break already for him. It will consider this is a line. This is a line. Okay, but if you don't give semicolon, it will not be considered as a single line and then it will try to comprehend this and it will throw an error because Java sees a syntax error here, right? There is nothing possible here. <clears throat> Getting my point semicolon. You have to give must after every line of the code in Java because that is a like end of line or end of argument. So after semicolon, you can write whatever you want again and again. It will consider as three line actually. See, when I try to give a auto rearrange, it automatically breaks it into the three lines. Okay, how I did it, you don't have to know, but just know this. So semicolon means a line break. Okay, that's it. So if you want to make compile understand boss till here, this is my line. You have to give a semicolon. So why system dot out dot print ln? How can you remember this? This is also a thing. So you want something to be out printed here, right? Into the console. So that's why print command came here. And you are getting it out of the system, right? System is giving this system is giving you this output. So remember as system dot out dot print ln. And whatever you type here, like my name is. Name is. Whatever I type here, it's going to print the same thing. Mostly people with the new coding write this hello world. So control S. Now if I run this, it will change it to hello world. System dot out dot print <coughs> Hello world. 
now because this is an ide there would be some auto suggestions obviously we'll be getting when i was writing if you remember i was getting already this list correct you can see this is the out dot when i give the dot again i will get this output even i will have the print ln here also obviously somewhere yeah print ln i am getting this is how id id would help us yes this is how id helps you at with the auto suggestion someone told you right I, id will give the auto suggestion so yes sir so this is the example but id helps you in many other ways also i don't want to write even system dot out dot print ln with the auto suggestion what i can do i can type what i'm typing see here s y s o okay see so control space enter got it 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 has got some inbuilt shortcuts inside it where from it's getting directly like i showed you right when i was typing the main this main with the control space it was automatically understanding that i want to recall the main method correct so just like that for system dot out dot print element because it's a very 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 used command and like in day to day life you will be using it they have a shortcut for it which is s y s o c so we call it c so even we don't even say system dot out dot print element when we are reading the code to someone else we say c so hello world c so my name is amitabh so c so control space it's automatically giving print to standard out see the what would be the output you are seeing this just give an enter you will get this clear yeah so that's how id is helping you id helps you with the every dot you get a citation just i got from here also sorry control z from here i got right uh, system system dot i'm getting the auto citation after giving the dot automatically you don't have to put control space or anything just the dot you give the dot and automatically the citation will come dot see the citations are coming <clears throat> it may helps like that also and as i said colon denotes the line end right so see the auto citation whatever is coming it's coming with a colon at the end correct now if i don't give a colon i said the compiler will merge the below two lines see is it giving any error no right why because in compiler's understanding after system dot there is nothing as semicolon so automatically this line gets merged with this so it's giving the same command like this right so there is no error for this java understands what you are trying to write getting my point why colon is important but if i give a colon here now it's an error because system dot is nothing for java what i'm saying i have written a line 1 this is important why colon is important okay i have written a line 1 i have given a semicolon it's a line end all good i have written a line 1 and line 2 this is line 1 line 2 and i have given a semicolon here no semicolon here what java compiler will think it will okay one second continuation uh, yes it's a continuation for him so this is the line 1 uh this is the line 2 okay and i have given a semicolon here so for java how it works for java this is the command while compilation that's what is happening here also because i have given i haven't given any semicolon here so automatically it's understanding that this would be merged with this so automatically the command is coming again like this so no error even if i want to save this and run this it should be okay see my name is amitabh is coming clear in yes. doubt any sir, doubt guys yeah this is click static void i want to i don't know what is that ha public static void these things are part of method right so it's part of the main correct so we'll come to this later okay as i said all this these are called keywords okay it's java reserved words what do you mean by java reserved words like i told you jre is a library when java has created java has its own uh, understanding of its own right 
so it's a reserved words for java or called java keywords so i am creating a class just suppose i'm creating a class and i'm giving a name of static see yes. oh it's allowing huh? now this it should not allow anyhow one second in is allowed but okay it should not allow actually i don't know why it's maybe they throw the error later but the problem is java keywords you can't use anywhere else okay like you can't use it use this word for your own like i created a class for static i created a class called public this should not be or this is no way the in industry standards okay so these are called java reserved words or java keywords whatever you are seeing as highlighted here even main is an like saved word for java so these all highlighted are package you already know class you already got an idea and these are called methods right so this is the one you don't have to worry about public static void these things we will come to this later anyhow okay when we will be understanding how class works or how method works you will know the understanding for them just now focus on the things that how you are going to get an output from java so we created a package uh, sorry we created a project inside that project we created a package inside the package we have a class inside the class we have a main method and where we are typing the ciso control space and within the inverted commas we are giving whatever i want to print out that's it that's the syntax of java i have to give the semicolon at the end of every line and and that is one more important thing is here you see this braces right curly braces yes. once i click this curly brace automatically this one is getting highlighted or i click here the other one will get highlighted i click this one the other one gets highlighted you can see right this is getting highlighted the other part this braces defines the scope now we will say what is the scope scope is a term for scope is the term for the coding language if you ask me what is in normal language it's the area area it covers so you you have a house correct this class is your house so it has a particular limited area right you can't say this whole world is mine okay like kgf it's not possible so whatever this class hello world has the scope or the coverage that is defined by this curly braces this is called scope if someone asks you if your manager comes to you comes to you or interviewer ask you what is the scope of this class you have to define through this curly braces this is the area which is under this class got it so just like that every room every house has a particular limited area for it right this room has a area from here to here correct so curly braces in java language defines the scope for methods and classes so curly braces are important if you don't give curly braces it opens up right and it will give an error you see syntax error because one curly braces is missing it will ask you to give another curly braces that's it curly braces means scope scope is the actual term we use for the coding that this is the scope for this method this is the scope for this method <coughs> and it's basically the area it covers okay like how much area it's consuming for a room the master bedroom might be big the kitchen if the area is not defined then everyone will cook their food in the master bedroom right so that's the same thing <coughs> calibrates defines the scope now doubts that's it for today so just tell me the doubts <coughs> You guys understood everything, huh? No yeah, doubts. Yeah, I am. The, like, where we uh, can get these compiled files in our local drive? Sorry. Like, where we can find these, uh, you know, saved compiled files? Okay, where you can find? First of all, for my laptop, I'm not able. I will not be able to find because I just randomly created one folder somewhere. But for you, I can show how it's possible to find for you. Even if you don't know, you got just the package. Just 
right click here you will have an option. visible oh my screen is not visible i'm sorry <clears throat> now visible hello is it visible yes. now hello yes it is visible yeah it's visible So this is the particular class I want. Now here, right click, and then you have an option of properties. Okay, you just have to go to the properties, see the location. You can see right where it is right now in my laptop. For your laptop also, it would be the same. And there is a door, like anywhere door of door one. So if you click here, it opens directly here with the file explorer. Got it. Yeah, got it. And uh, how you can, this is the dot Java files, right? You want to see the dot class files that is also possible. That would be inside the bin. OK, I have to say this is a uh, project we created the demo sessions, right? And what we are seeing there is the SRC folder. If you remember in the Eclipse, correct? Yes, the SRC folder we are seeing GR is coming due to that uh, Java project. So we are seeing the SRC folder. This is the folder we are seeing. Other folders we are not seeing anyhow. Okay. And we don't need to see because these are some Eclipse properties. Some are, uh, we don't need to, actually, they don't want us to show. So in the bean folder, you would be able to see the compiled files. Okay. If I go okay. to the SRC, I create a package com dot automation, I think, if I'm not wrong. So let me see. Com dot package demo. Okay, com dot demo. I have three packages: com dot automation, com dot demo, com dot sessions. How you will see in the folder structure? It would be amazing for you guys. I entered. This is the com. Okay, I enter com. See, three folders are there: automation, demo, sessions. The dot breaks as a folder structure. In coding language, when you are giving the packages, packages name, this dot breaks as a folder structure, because I have given the same name at the first one. So it's a common folder, right? Com is the parent. Inside the com, mm -hmm. there is automation, there is demo, there is sessions. The same I'm oh. seeing here, com.automation.sessions. Now inside the demo, I have these two, hello world and syntax.java, correct? Yeah. And I have compiled only the hello world, if you remember. There's nothing I have written in syntax, so I have only compiled the hello world.java. So for the compilation, only dot .class file would be available for hello world. How can I see this? Let's go to the bin. Bin means does bin. Okay, you don't have to worry about this. So the same structure, com, automation, demo, sessions. I'll go to demo. Oh, both got created. I don't know why, but you can see the dot plus files. Okay. So here is the dot plus files or the compiled files. You want to see them, how they looks. That is also possible. Show more options. Open with Notepad plus plus. See, can you read this language? No, right? It's not possible. Mm -hmm. So this is low level language. Okay. <clears throat> I know it was a little bit ahead, but I'll show this again. Anyhow, I have to come back to this topic again. <clears throat> is it possible to, you know, create a path and save the programs, whatever we are going to do? Not getting your question. Can you come again? Uh, is it possible to create a path and like means create, auto create a path means you want to create a project in your local anywhere and you want to give that path to the eclipse? Yeah, like what are the programs are going to be, you know, right? It would be on the path only. Which would huh, be the so one folder. Ha, huh, it would be always in the one folder. No, you created one project, okay. This project is the parent. So whatever I do inside this project, it will be always inside the folder of demo sessions. This is a folder, correct? Demo sessions is a folder already. See, demo sessions is a folder. So whatever I do inside that project, it would be always inside this only. It will not be like elsewhere or anywhere it will be going. Whenever you create a project, that's the concept of creating a project that you are creating a disk space for it. Maybe I'm not getting your question. I so, think uh, what I, I don't know. I'm I'm interfering. Sorry. 
uh, I think uh, Chinna is asking for can we customize the path rather than a default one? That is that may be his question. Okay, is that your question? Uh, yeah. I think if we can. Ha, we can actually. So if you remember, I created this workspace while opening the Eclipse, right? So inside this workspace I can, only. I can. Uh, screen is not visible. Okay. Okay. We can do that. Ha. So if you remember, I created this workspace while creating the while like opening the Eclipse, right? Eclipse workspace. I created a new folder. Yeah. So with this folder only, these projects are getting created. Okay. There is a possibility that you can create multiple actually. See, switch workspace. And if you go to the other, you can create another workspace. Okay. In another yes, workspace, yes. you can create another project. So that would be your path where you want to create the projects and anything. That's not an issue. But right now, without exploring those things, explore these packages and classes. And choose OneDrive also, not only workspace. Huh. It can go to OneDrive also, but I don't trust any open source tool with any drive. And I would okay. suggest not to do that same. Okay, sir. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, so what do you guys have to do? Practice the creation of package, creation of classes, creation of main method, and try to get the output with system.out.println. That's it. But be very clear that just because this is the steps I have to follow, right click package, right click class, not like this, okay? Be clear why is a class inside a package? Because package is a bigger area, classes are houses. That's why I gave you that concept a little bit because I want you guys to have a clear idea that package is a bigger unit, classes is a smaller unit, and methods are very small unit. Methods are how like rooms inside it, right? So it's very small. And this hierarchy is very important very 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 important because if you forget this it will be very hard for me to make you understand oops to understand oops you better remember this area house rooms concept it will be very important later can you cool. tell me the what is the topic for tomorrow we will go through it and come back yeah that would be good actually thank you so java output we do we did i think right now Print numbers. Why they are saying print? Yeah, try to do the print numbers yourself. Okay, in the W3 schools, there would be one topic. One second, I'll share my screen. My screen is visible to you guys. We did the Java syntax today. Okay, we did the Java output. Java output has a print text. So text we printed through this uh, inverted commas, right? Double quotes and the print numbers also you can go through yourself. Okay, they have just done the multiplication sum and all these things you can do yourself. Java comments you can go through tomorrow and Java variables. Okay. We'll go through the variables. We'll go through the comments tomorrow. Clear. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And data types also come with the data types because variables would be hard to understand without data types. So till here, we will cover the data types, variables, comments, these two. And for the output, please, we just did the print text. You do yourself the print numbers and print text both. And I will actually randomly ask anyone to share the screen and show me. So it's important you guys do it. Oh. Okay. Cool. Any doubts? You guys have your inter internal groups, right? Yes. Yeah, yes. so yes. I I would suggest every day for one hour you guys connect internally and do these things together as a group study. It would be helpful. Yes. And if anyone is not doing that would be groups fault. Okay. So better you guys practice it. Java is all about practice. Okay, I can give you n number of theoretical knowledge. You can note down n number of pages, but still it would be on the practice only. How deep will go uh, in Java for, for automation uh, for the Selenium? Uh, you have, it's not about only Selenium. You may think that Selenium would be enough for me to do the automation, but yeah, in a number of tools may come which may require other understanding rather than uh, like for Selenium, you need to.